Assalamu alaikum. Today I will show you how you can make an autocomplete combo box in WPF.NET Core 3 or 5 or 6 or 7. So let's start. So first of all, I will search a WPF application here. And click. Next, and I will give it a name Demo Autocomplete WPF Combo Box, and I will choose Next. And I will choose .NET 7. So now this is a DLL that I will provide you with the link. Or you can go to Google and search for Rizwan Sadi GitHub. And in the repository. You will find the project autocomplete WPF combo box sample. So you can download the zip file and extract it. And you will find that here is the sample project. And it has a library folder. And this is the DLL that I am using the project. That I have created demo. I will create a folder name library. You can give it any name you want. And I will copy that file into library folder. And right click on the dependency and add project reference. I will choose browse and here I will paste the full path of the folder. And I choose that DLL and click OK. And I will go to the sample. In the main XAML, I have to add this line here, this XML namespace. I will add this namespace. And I will copy this line and paste here. And I will give it a name soft so it is simplest. So here are some options you can set vertical alignment top. So this is the combo box auto complete. So you can set the filter mode to contains by default. It is contain mode and this is a display field. So now I need a model. That. I will populate and set the item source of it. So here, I need a list of all observable collections of search model. Search model will be declared in the DLL. Search model data list is equal to new list of observable collection. of search model and in the search model. I will add some data search model so here. I will display field will be. Let's say field 1 is equal to Ali. Farhan so you can change the display field and string field also. It, it can be Farhan, it can be field or item 1, it can be anything. 
Then I give it a name that box and box. Item source will data list. Let's run this application. And here I will search for Ollie. You can see Ollie is there. I can search for Rashi 4. Let's see if I had some more data you see there. That's it Ollie for harm, and you can see this is working. My autocomplete WPF combo box is working. So let's repeat that steps that we need. So first of all, I need that DLL. So you can you can go to this one say thing and auto auto complete WPF combo box sample. And download that project or I will provide a link to that DLL in the video description. And then you can see that sample so. First of all, I have added this namespace into my project and then copy this the whole code and paste into my application. And then I have created that observable collection that it needs and then I set the item source and now it is working. 